Another interesting tool in Cinema 4D is Selection Filter and Selector. It's here in the Cinema 4D after an uh, important selection tool. We have a button here that Selection Filter. If you click that, you can select. You can open its menu. Here we have the most important category in Cinema 4D, the nulls, polygons, splines, generator, Subdivision surfaces, deformers, cameras, light, environment, particle, and the joint. These are the main categories in the Cinema 4D that you can select all of them. For example, if you click on a none and you can select anything in a scene, if you set it on a none. Or if you select all and now all of the objects in the Cinema 4D can be selectable. These tools are cont for controlling the selection in a viewport. Okay? If you want to select just, uh, for example, a spline, set it in a none, and after that, click just a spline. And you can go into the rectangle selection and click and drag, and just all a spline will be selected. Or if you want to select just deformer, you can set it, turn it off, and just a deformer, you can select and drag, and just the deformer will be selected here. So, we can control our selection here. Set it to all to select all of them. An interesting part of the selection is the selector. If you click that this selector, as you can see, uh, you can select something with that tool in it. <clears throat> select all kind of that category. For example, uh, when this... Uh, line is here it means that in the deformer we have a mixed thing here click once to deselect all of the deformer for example in a viewport we have a, uh, lots of lights that <clears throat> there are in somewhere that we can find them you can simply go into the selector and select the light as you can see the all light in the scene will be selected and as you can see in the object manager Delete that. For example, we have a light and we can select all the light here and settings. Okay, this is selector. If we have a lot of tag here, if you assign a lot of tag here, for example, we have a just a font tag, you can assign any tag that you want. It's not important. Any tag that you want, you can set it here. And we have another tab here. It's tags. You can select also tags here. This option is enabled, restrict to the active object because in this mode you have to select object and then uh, there you can select that. If you untick that, you can select all tags in a scene. For example, we have a material tag and as you can see all the material tag in tags you can, you can select it. Or you can simply click and drag and select the tag here. For example, you can select all font tag here. All font tag here will be selected. It's very useful for you, you know, or any tag that you use in your scene. Going back to the object tab, for example, I want to select all null object. For example, we have a null object and we can select it. Or we have, I want to select all cameras. We can select all cameras. Okay. Another interesting thing, uh, bring it here. Another interesting thing is the create selection object. <laughs> For example, I want to select all camera and I want to categorize them to each other that I, after that I can simply select them. Okay, bring selector, select all camera in the scene. And after that, go into the create selection object. As you can see in here, we have a selection object that all of the camera are, all of the camera are in it. And for example, you close that, you close that and working on a scene and then you want to select all of your cameras. Simply double click on this icon and all the camera will be selected for you in a scene. Or if you select the selection, you can access all of the camera or you can click on a restore selection to uh, see your camera. If you want to add a new camera, for example, I want to add a new camera and add to this selection, simply click and, and bring it its sitting and simply click and drag a camera in its list. 
This is a selection list. You can just double click and select all of your camera here. Or if you want to, this is a selection and double click and rename it camera for um, after you can access it anywhere that you want. For example, you work in, in a, your scene and uh, double click and you can select all of camera or select it. And here you can select the camera that you want here. Select it and restore it. And as you can see, you can select all camera. Okay, this is selector. It's important and it's here. You can use a selector, create selection. Or here, select the last thing that you select the camera or uh, you can select the category here. Okay, that's very useful and simple. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.